guys, how's it going? It's King, and I just want to say first off, thanks for you all being so patient on me not uploading in a while. I know it's been about three weeks since my last video, and the reason for that, if you all didn't know, was that my computer was actually broken, so I wasn't able to get on and do edits or any types of videos until it was fixed, but just recently it got repaired, so everything should be fine for now, and hopefully I can keep uploading once or twice a week like I normally was. And secondly, I just want to say thanks for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, it really means a lot that I've pretty much doubled my subscribers in about half the time. It's been about four months. So that's really awesome. If you want to suggest anything uh, for 2K subscribers, like any videos or any more tutorials, put it in the comments or uh, ask me on Skype if I could do a video. And I'll recommend it. Uh, I actually got this one requested a whole bunch, so I figured I had to do it. So for those of you who are only here for the tutorial, I'm going to get straight into that. Go into After Effects. And what you're going to be learning today is pretty much these four color corrections right here uh, as long um, or as well as a couple more techniques so I'm gonna be teaching guys uh, a couple things along with just how to make this stuff so we're gonna go straight into the first color correction which is right here and I'm gonna open up magic bullet looks which is a, a plugin that you really need if you wanna make a uh, good color correction so I recommend that you go and get this uh, it's really really important so other than that everything is gonna be in magic bullet looks so you don't really need to worry about getting anything else and pretty much what you have right here is two different things that I'm going to be teaching you. You have color grading, which is this stuff right here. I'm just going to turn it off so uh, you know what it looks like without it. So this is without color grading, and then this is with color grading. It's pretty much just making the colors on the clip look a lot nicer. And then secondly, we have our glow, which is these two things right here. And this is pretty much what it looks like without it and then with it. I actually already have this one hidden, but I'm going to go into that... Uh, later on the tutorial. So I'm going to start off with color grading which is probably the most important thing. I'm not going to pull out all of the stuff again uh, that I already have here but this is pretty much all I use. If you go into tools and just kind of look for this stuff like you can see um, color contrast is right here. I'm just going to start off with this. Hopefully this tutorial isn't too long because I'm going over a lot of stuff but we're going to start off with color contrast and pretty much it should um, be right here around this oranges part and the reason for that is because uh, if you see here if you go further down in the orange it pretty much makes the blues pop out more so uh, that's because blue is the opposite direction so you can pretty much make this anything but blue looks the best and you know just make the settings like this and just have it towards this orange area towards the middle because if you have it too much at the end it's going to be really blue so you have that color contrast adds a blue tint to it looks really nice and uh, secondly is spot exposure and you can pretty much imagine this as if it's a sun right here so this would be the sun it's making everything bright right here and then it kind of fades off towards this area and this is pretty much all you need for this uh, it's not too complicated you have it off to the yellow a little bit but uh, that it doesn't really make too much of a difference you can see you could hardly tell anything there so that's all you need for that it's pretty much gonna make your glow pop out more and then uh, next you have this net right here and this is just gonna make everything look a little bit more blurred out you can see like the edges right here they look uh, a lot more blurred it just makes it look a lot smoother and stuff but uh, it's optional you don't really need it next up is saturation this is also optional you can see without it um, it doesn't look as good, but it really just depends on the song that you have. This is pretty much how saturated it's going to be. Uh, if you have it at zero, it's just going to be black and white. And you just have it at like 60, 66% or whatever, and have it towards this green area. Because you can see if it's at the white, it's just going to be a lot brighter. So just put it towards the greens, and that's pretty much all you need for that. Then for this, it's um, curves. It's going to start out as a straight line. All you really need to do is make an S shape like this. So you move these two, um, hold on, what is this? You move these two uh, upwards and then move this up a little bit and then move these down a little bit. And pretty much this is gonna uh, make the whites whiter and the blacks uh, or grays blacker. So this is really important. This and contrast are two, uh, two of the most important things. So that's all you really need to know for that. Then this is auto shoulder. It's just gonna make it so it's not as white you can see right here without it everything looks really bright and stuff then with it it kinda like tones it down a little bit so that's pretty much all you need to know for color grading um, really important part in color corrections uh, you might have to adjust a couple things depending on your clip you can see this is actually a PC recorded clip so um, it's gonna look different for console clips but 
pretty much all you need to do uh, if it doesn't look very good is usually you just need to change the curves or the contrast but other than that that's pretty much all you need to know for that so pretty much this is what you have right now um, so I'm gonna go into the glows or the um, diffusion and flare uh, diffusion is pretty much where the glow is coming from so this is the most important thing if you want to make a nice uh, colorful CC so um, this is pretty much what I have you could just uh, take these settings we're not really gonna be moving these around too much all that we care about right now is the color so you can see um, this is pretty much a white uh, glow but I do have it move towards the blues a little bit because um, this is just a color that I really like so this is pretty basic this is a standard color correction you know you have a really chill song you want to use this but um, I'm just gonna go into the next one now because that's all re we really need to know for this one so the next one you see here is kinda like purple and um, I'm just gonna go into the looks all this stuff is exactly the same except actually something's wrong here oh uh, so yeah we're just gonna open up this one and you can see everything's pretty much the same except for these two uh, things right here and the reason for that is if you go to this I have a color wheel open right here this is pretty much uh, what you want to use to make nice colors and I'm going to be going over a couple things in this you can see this is what we're uh, using right now this is a uh, sim uh, similar colors so you can see in magic bullet looks we have purple and blue and these are similar colors on the color wheel you can see uh, blue right here purple right here so any ones that are next to each other would look nice for a color correction you can you can't really see the blue too much but you know if I turn it on right here you can kinda tell the difference so um, I'm gonna go over haze flares because I, I didn't go over that in the last one since it was turned off so pretty much you just wanna have uh, these settings right here the spillage at 33 if the uh, flares look too bright like let's say there's a lot of white here so the flares are actually pretty bright right now you could just uh, turn down the spillage and it's gonna get rid of the flares a lot more and you can just kind of change it to whatever the clip looks like. I figured this pretty much looks best for this clip right now. Uh, maybe change it down to like 25 or something. I don't know. You can't really tell too much. But you can see right here I have it. Um, it'll start off right here I think. And then you kind of just move it towards the purples. And then diffusion uh, I just have it towards the blue color right here. And the settings are pretty much the same. And everything else here is the same. So you have this. And this is another uh, this is another thing you could do right here. It's kind of yellow and purple, so you can make like a pretty weird color correction. But I thought this looked really nice. And what we're doing right here, if we go back to our color wheel, uh, we have complementary colors. So you can see yellow right here and purple right here, and that's pretty much what I did. If you want, um, you can pick different colors, like different uh, complementary colors, like right here. You see, uh, they're pretty much just across from each other on the color wheel. There's blue right here and orange right here so if you want you can kinda just change it so there's orange and then there's blue that looks pretty nice or you know if you want you could switch it the other way around so you have orange right there and blue right there but right now I'm just gonna change it to yellow and purple because I thought that made the biggest difference everything else is the same like I said and we're just gonna exit out of this one and go on to our last color correction right here and this one is probably the most simple of everything I think I use this for Willie G's it's pretty much just everything is just one color so you have the diffusion uh, being green and then you have the flares being green or uh, if you want you could just take off the flares completely and this is what I used for solace it was just orange and that's all you really need to do for that and then you know have the flares if you want but other than that this is pretty much all you need to know for the color corrections uh, a really important thing that you need to note is don't copy this color correction exactly if you copy um, if you copy the whole thing like exactly how I have it right here then it's gonna look really bad on some clips for these ones it looks fine but um, let's say you have a clip that's completely dark like there's no whites at all uh, raid is a really really good map because it has a lot of whites in the sky but let's say you have a different type of map like a carrier where everything's kind of dark um, you, you might have to change the settings a little bit like make the glow brighter or change the uh, color contrast but other than that uh, if you have any questions on your color correction like why it's not looking like these you could just uh, message me uh, on Skype or on Twitter maybe in the comments uh, I'll read them and you know if you have any questions I will 
be happy to answer them for you. But other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know for uh, this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this whole thing if you did and uh, suggest more tutorials. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the video. So uh, I will see you guys later.